So how did you hear about this? He, um, he called. Okay. He called from the jail. Um, he said, Mom, they beat me. And I said, who beat you? Uh, you know, it, this was first thing in the morning. It's hard to comprehend. And he said, the officers, they held me down and they beat me. And he said, there's a video that's, that's on social media, Facebook platform somewhere. Um, you need to see that. You need to get the video. You need to see it. So when you saw that video, what went through your head? That I couldn't help him. That he was, he was helpless. He was helpless. And I couldn't, I couldn't help him. You were, and it was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. And I was angry. I was fueled with rage, fueled with rage. And you were honest with me on the phone. Can you walk through what you understand happened that day, kind of uh, leading up to that moment? Oh, one sec. Sean um, was explaining to me on the phone what had happened to him. Um, the, co the police officers um, approached him in vehicles. He put his hands up. He backed away from the vehicle. Um, officer got out of the vehicle and came toward him with his hand on his gun. Sean then ran. He did run. Um, he was then tackled by officers. Sorry. So can you start with uh, he ran and then he was tackled by officers? Uh, he said he did run because okay. the officer had his hand on his gun. He ran. Um, the officers asked him, commanded him to stop. officers. He was then held down by two officers while two other officers uh, proceeded to punch him repeatedly in the head and face while he was laying on his side. Um, he did tell me that he was intoxicated and under the influence of drugs. But he said, Mom, I didn't fight him. He said, I did not fight them. He said, watch the video. If you can find it, watch the video. You'll see I didn't fight them. And I didn't deserve that. I later did find the video. Uh, I watched it. And it shook me. It shook me to see him lay there, uh, detained, held down, submissive, not fighting, not restraining, but still beaten. Did he have any weapons on him? He did not. He did not. There was no report of that. I asked him that. He did not have any weapons. He did not have any drugs or drug paraphernalia on him. Although he has been charged with that somehow. Okay. And um, you have not been able to see him. He's still in the holding cell now. They will not let me see him. Uh, the jail has... Uh, intercepted the link um, for me to set up a video visit with my son video or on site. Mm -hmm. I've tried to set up both visits with him. They will not let me see him. They won't release his booking photo. Um, the phone calls that I get with him are very short, very brief. I've only talked to him twice. Uh, one of the phone calls was disconnected by the jail when we started talking about there being a, a case brought up against Ogden City for this abuse, uh, brutality. And that phone call was disconnected by the jail. And what did he tell you about his face or his condition? He said they did take him to the hospital and in transport to the hospital, one of the officers that beat him said, uh, quote, that he was a worthless junkie and deserved every bit of what he got.
Mm. Did uh, he describe the pain or what his face looks like he since you when, can't see him? He said the hospital um, said that his jaw was fractured, his nose is broken, both of his orbital sockets are broken, and he has lost vision in his right eye completely. What goes through your head as a mom hearing that? I'm heartbroken about this entire situation. And I'm angry. I'm angry, but I'm, I'm so torn between heartbroken and angry right now. Mm -hmm. I wanna be more angry, but I find myself more heartbroken and hurt for him to have to go through that and just lay there. He just, he just laid there. He didn't fight them. And he didn't deserve that. I don't, I don't care if he was under the influence of drugs. I don't care if he did run. No one deserves that. To be held down and beaten, hit repeatedly in his face and head, he did not deserve that. And you said as a mom, you'd be the first to say if your, your son was at fault or? I am always the first one to say if my son is wrong, any of my children, I have three children, three boys, grown men, mm -hmm. and their entire lives, if they're wrong, I'll tell you they're wrong. You mentioned at the phone too that he does have a history with um, drug use. He does, he does have a history of drug use, yes. And he's had um, interactions with police officers before. Uh, while intoxicated and under the influence of drugs. Those officers were amazing, amazing officers. They helped him. Uh, one instance, um, a few years ago, uh, a team of officers came into our home and they literally saved my son's life. And I am so thankful for that. So thankful. He's thankful. And I believe that if those officers had been on the scene, things would not have been this way things would not have turned out this way. So what do you think, the moments before this incident, do you think they were trying to stop him for jaywalking, for public intoxication, or? Um, probably both. Okay. Probably both. Um, he, he hasn't elaborated on anything like that. He just said the police, you know, tried to stop me. Um, I put my hands up in the air. I walked away from the, I backed away from the vehicle. Um, one of the officers was approaching with his hand on his gun and I ran. He said I ran. So he was resisting, but, so it sounds like he was resisting, but not with force or? Right, right. Sean, Sean has no intention of hurting anyone. He would have, he, he, he doesn't carry a weapon. He's, he's not a violent offender. Mm -hmm. He's, he's an addict. And we've asked for the courts to put him in an inpatient treatment. That's never happened. That's where my son needs to be. He needs to be in an inpatient treatment. He doesn't need to be beaten on the street by cops while held down by other police officers. He doesn't, nobody needs that. What have Ogden police told you since the incident? Nothing, absolutely okay. nothing. They haven't said a word to me. Um, like I said, the phone calls have been cut short. Um, they won't release his booking photo. They won't let me see him. Um, I have no idea of the condition of my son. And Ogden City has not answered a single message or a single phone call. How many run-ins with police would you say he's had? In the past year, um, three, four. Okay. All, all drug related. Okay. Um, petty crime, misdemeanors, possession, intoxication. So what's next? What are you planning on doing next? Um, my family and I have decided to hire an attorney on Sean's behalf and um, we'll do whatever we can to make sure that um, those officers are held accountable for the beating that they gave to my son. Is there anything else you wanna say or any message you wanna share the only thing I want to say is that I hope and pray that it never happens to one of their children I hope they never have to watch a video of their children being held down 
and beaten. I hope they never have to go through that. I hope their children never have to go through that. And I hope and pray that if they ever find their children with a drug addiction, that they're able to convince the courts to put them in a treatment program instead of allowing this to happen. Is it hard to get for you to get him in a treatment program with money and um, It's hard to get an open bed oh, in okay. treatment programs, especially inpatient treatments. Mm -hmm. um, Sean has state medical. Uh, it's hard to find one that accepts those. And when you do find one that accepts them, it's hard to get them a bed. It's hard to get availability. Uh, if we could get the judge to um, require that or refer that, then Sean would be accepted I immediately. Otherwise, it's the process is timely. Okay. There's usually a waiting list for those kind of treatments. Okay, yeah. Hey, Have you talked yeah. with your son? Is he wants treatment as well? He does. He's asked for, for treatment in the past. Um, we, we did have him set up in one treatment program um, that ended up being a failure. Um, we, um, we just don't feel like Sean We just don't feel like Sh Sean has been given the right avenues, basically. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like the courts have been giving him the right avenues um, to help him with his addiction, um, to help him seek treatment, to get treatment. Um, Sean goes to jail on a misdemeanor drug charge. He, uh, he's released. Um, and he's released right back onto the same streets that he was arrested on for the misdemeanor drug charge at the begin with. And with Sean's addiction, it makes it very hard for him to avoid those kind of situations. Mm. Um, Did they find a cap on him that day or? Sean told me that he did have a cap in his pocket. Okay. Um, that's he says that's all he had okay um of course if there's body cam footage or evidence of anything other than that we would like to see that ourselves because like you said the charges say there was more found on him right. the charges do say that sean did say to me the officers uh um removed a cap from his pocket and um the officer said okay well we've got drugs here mm -hmm. and sean says show me show me them and the officer was unable to, you know, present that to my son. Okay. My son did admit to me that he was um, under the influence of drugs. However, um, he did not have any on him, and he he stated that several times to me that he did not have any on him. Okay. So, despite whether Sean was under the influence, despite whether Sean uh did evade mm -hmm. um once he was detained once he was on the ground um i don't see any justification in them beating him i just don't for the length of it seems like it was for a length of time too and two officers if sean needed uh, a couple of warning punches because maybe he was resisting a little or or he was uh, belligerent or fighting them I could, I could justify that myself, and I would. And I would say, okay, yeah, maybe he deserved those couple of punches. But what that video shows is extreme, very extreme, and he did not deserve that. Have you seen body cam? I'm guessing not. No, they have okay. not released body cam footage. Mm -hmm. Ogden City has only stated that they are doing an internal investigation. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeking a third party investigation on this. Mm -hmm. uh, don't think that an internal investigation is going to suffice in this situation. I think we need a third party to investigate 
and uh, like I said, we've hired, we're hiring attorneys to um, do some further investigation on the family's behalf and Sean's behalf. Thank you. So that we can seek justice. This is just extreme amount of force used, unnecessary amount of force used. He wasn't resisting. He wasn't fighting. He was lifeless in that video. And there's no justifying that. Well, thank you for talking to me today. You're welcome. So.